watching FloridaDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. We're at Surfaces 2018 in Las Vegas, and I'm with John Rietfeldt, the CEO of i for floor John, how you doing? I'm very well, uh, Kemp, and I'm happy to be in Las Vegas again. We talked in Germany just a couple weeks ago and uh, kind of updated our listeners a little bit about the company. Just a quick review of that real quick. You're one of the three big players in the intellectual property business. Uh, kind I guess the, the newest um, firm to be in this area. And you got started, you're not new to the flooring business because many years ago you were with Tarkett as an in individually. Um, you've got some new partnerships we can talk about, but you got started in this IP area with an innovative click system. Uh, why don't you show us a little bit about that and tell us about it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Everything needs to have a start with something. And uh, we started with a uh, new technology in a drop lock, um, which is actually for all sides, but it works best on the short side. And this is also where the need uh, was. So the best actually is to, to show it, huh? yeah. because at the end of the day, uh, a picture says more than, uh, than many, uh, many words. Uh, many people know the angle system to get the long side in. Uh, these are small panels, so you, you put it like this in an angle in, and then you, you adjust it here and you put it in. Okay. And uh, the interesting thing is this is the first click which clicks. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah so, you know, we're kind of proud. It came with the package. But this is, this is, uh, this is the, the main invention which we have been rolling out uh, since early 2014. Um, and which was the start of a, of a big journey. John, you mentioned Click. I want to get into that. Actually, Click is a trademark for one of, the, one of your competitors, right? So it's difficult to use that word Click in this system, is that right? Yeah, we don't, uh, we don't use it. We, as you know, we call it Drop Lock. Yeah. And uh, it's a mechanical locking system of panels. And so, uh, but we found it interesting that you hear, you hear yeah. the sound click. Yeah. Now, th one of the neat things about this system uh, is it's almost much more simple because the profile uh, is is easier to make, right? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Because we were looking at at two things. First of all, it had to be the best easy installation for consumers and installers. But besides that, it needed also to be very easy to produce, because our manufacturers have uh, you know they tend to have very high levels of productivity, and and so every percent they lose is really a lot of money at the end. And so um, we developed a system where basically they can use a normal profiling machine and don't need any investment other than uh, buying the tooling for the machine, which is normal for all their different applications. So there's basically three or four primary systems out there that do this. And uh, the other two companies, obviously, Unilin and Velinge, are in this business as well. One question I'm curious about, uh, when we start talking about all this multi-layer flooring and all this movement toward click systems, um, is there some of the challenges are thermal temperature changes and also uneven flooring. Does this one perform really well in all those situations? Yeah, it does. It, 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 is, it is what you say, it's because every, every material has its own characteristics um, and therefore you have, uh, you have norms um, and tests you need to go through. So, and that goes from uh, tensile strength uh, tests up to uh, climate chambers, uh, custard chair tests, um, and, and our system has passed all those uh, requirements. So you've evolved past this now and you've got uh, different surface technologies and, and, and many more things that you're adding to your menu of innovation of intellectual properties, right? That's correct. We have, uh, we have been adding ourselves new patents and we have been um, signing different partnership agreements with manufacturers who had interesting uh, patents uh, in their portfolio. And what we, what we are doing now, we're in the phase of, of grouping those patents in clusters. So you have a cluster of locking, uh, locking patents, you have a cluster of surface treatments, uh, industrial processes, uh, wall, uh, wall and board uh, technologies. And we cluster them and within those clusters we kind of mark the specific patents which are important for the products and we kind of price them. Um, this is where we uh, will get to our introduction of the, uh, the menu, uh, the pricing menu, so that people know exactly where they pay for it and if they think it's interesting to add to their products, um, they can also create value uh, with that. And that makes the market much more transparent and that makes it also much more possible for uh, new entries, 
or people who have inventions because kind of the big change in my opinion over the last uh, two three years is that many people come to me hey listen John I have an idea or I have a patent or I have this can you market it is that if we think it's worthwhile that we add that to the menu and it's just a pricing concept because at the end of the day what we look for all is that we can create value with meaningful innovations it makes no sense if everybody tries to uh, to get a part of the profit of a manufacturer by um, developing intelligence way how to get money from him. At the end of the day, what counts is that what where can we create value to the consumer? What are meaningful innovations? And we hope we can work with our partners, but also with, with inventors or with new people coming uh, on the show um, to do that. So you're creating a menu system, and I guess the first thing that pops in my head is that is there some type of bundling, or does it make sense for a manufacturer that's uh, producing a type of flooring to say, I want this type of um, click system, and I want this type of uh, surface technology, and, and uh, so they pick and choose from, from different firms, or, or do you try to bundle it so it makes more sense for them to use all of the, the IP uh, patents that you offer? Yeah, actually both. Um, we think it makes a lot of sense if we, if we price the individual technologies because that makes it also transparent for our partners so that they know, they know what we are doing with their IP into the market. I can also envision, and again this is in development and we hope to launch that in the next uh, two months, um, is that if we group uh, technologies together that uh, people take uh, you know pricing it's like you go to a restaurant right you, you, you order a starter a main course and a dessert but sometimes they say listen this is the offer of today if you take all three of them um, this is the price and uh, so it, uh, we're working on that so where do you think this whole IP subject uh, in flooring is headed in the next three to five years yeah, I think there are some um, some important changes uh, because we, we started the discussion about locking. Now you see clearly that it, it's all changing the emphasis from the long side to the short side. Now that is still going on uh, and I think we have not seen the end of it. So the next, uh, I would say, 10 to 15 years is really short side technology development um, because yeah, we also want to get better and better all the time. I think a big, a, big, um, a big item for the future will be the surface treatment, but surface treatment more in the sense of um, how to make it more flexible, the production, and more individual, so you get very fast to things like digital printing. Um, if I talk with um, the, the manufacturers, this is where they're most interested in uh, going forward uh, to do that. There are many, many devel developments on material compositions. I also think we have not seen the end, uh, end of it and, and specific requirements and, uh, and, and so forth. That also opens the, the way to kind of ceramics uh, applications and so there are so many things going on on the background where I'm excited uh, to deal with. Installation. I think not only on the locking side, but there are different new things uh, for installation. And, and this big change, um, what you really see is that people come up now suddenly, it has been a kind of, it had been uh, a kind of a protected market yeah, for a really long time. And now it kind of all opens up and, and people suddenly, if you look really in the last 12 months, companies who come with new uh, locking systems, uh, um, with new surface treatments or compositions and say we, we have a patent. So suddenly innovation becomes something for everyone instead of for the lucky two or three. Um, and what we hope is that we can do a structured approach because at the end of the day, the market needs a structured approach because what you don't want is that everybody is doing their own thing and criteria of testing are not clear anymore because that's for the consumer really confusing so what you try is to get a very organized platform but where there is there is space for people to bring in their new ideas and innovations because it's a, you know flooring is a very exciting uh, category and if you look in the last two years it's enormous the change if i compare that with years ago well, it's one of the reasons I wanted to start to, uh, to interview you here today is because innovation and uh, new developments just seem to be, you know, uh, we're unlocked with uh, everything we're seeing today. Yeah. And uh, so it's a very interesting time to be in this business. Um, you know, we did a story in our February issue of Floor Focus where we talk about this topic. So I urge our readers to uh, go there and, and read a little, learn a little bit more about this topic. Again, been talking to John Rietfeld, the CEO of I4Floor at Surfaces, and you've been watching Kempar and FloorDaily.net.